Hi guys, it's Helena here and welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry, I've been out for a month and I didn't make any video. Please, can you forgive me? Yes, I hope so. But anyway, I'm here again today and today's video is about finding the balance. What do I mean about that? <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to talk about my experience, uh, my skin experience uh, during the month of July which has just passed um, just because you know when you travel and you change for example the food that you eat your routine and uh, whatever it is that you do you know you might see something on your skin your skin might react a certain way so that's why I'm sharing with you my experience so let's get started uh, so uh, last month I was three weeks in Spain for work and then the last week of July first few days of August I was on a holiday uh, in the north of England and Scotland and I could see something from my skin which I'm going to share with you now so went to Spain first three weeks I was working a lot but um, the main change was the weather it was almost 30 degrees uh, dry weather and I was in Castilla La Mancha in uh, central Spain and uh, there was a change, uh, there wasn't a real change in routine because I was working any, anyway all day. Of course, different tasks, but I was still working. But the weather uh, was a big change just because it was really, really, really hot every single day, even in the evening. And food was another big change because there was so much fresh fruit and, you know, I was just having the smoothies all the time and especially watermelons. So I live in Brighton, England, and you know, here you usually have a lot of smoothies, of course, and I'm mainly raw vegan, not completely, but, um, you know, I couldn't find, I can't find what, uh, you know, what you can find in Spain just because, you know, uh, because of the weather, the different products that they have. And so I was going on watermelons and melons like crazy. Oh my God. They're basically my favorite fruit. And I was eating like big bowls, like sorry, uh, like just big ones by myself. And I had something like five, six a week by myself. And trust me, I loved them. I could eat them all day long. Um, they were really, really cheap just because they were from the village next door. Uh, they were something like, I don't know, 0 0.49 euros per kilogram so really cheap and I loved it and mangoes I you know even like uh, veggies like uh, cucumbers carrots uh, kale spinach you, you can taste their difference so you know I was going crazy on all of that and I loved it and my skin was uh, amazing uh, of course you know I was um, out at the swimming pool working so uh, I could get like tanned as well which was good for my skin at least for me uh, the sun is good for my skin, not too too much, and of course you still have to take care of your skin when you sunbathe anyway. Um, but I could see that, especially because of the food I was eating, I felt amazing. Not just my skin, even inside it has so much energy, I was loving it. And of course I could still see that my skin was getting tired as well because I was working a lot. But overall, I felt like really energized. I felt that my skin was really energized, you know, because of this change of weather and, you know, the food that I was eating. So I was almost completely raw vegan in Spain. Um, we I did also eat some cooked food, so something like a vegan paella, which was amazing. Uh, but mainly I was raw vegan and I could see a big, big difference. Then, the last week of July, I went on holidays with my best friends, who are not vegan, by the way. Uh, so there again, it was a big change because I went from my 40 degrees to English weather. And unfortunately, when I came back to Brighton first, um, <laughs> the weather wasn't that good. Uh, it was really, really windy and rainy and cloudy. So I, I thought it was going to be sunny, but... Not that time, um, but anyway, so there was a big change. Um, of course, I went back to eating the things I usually eat here. Smoothies as well, uh, juices, but I couldn't find what I had in Spain. And then I went to the north of England and I went to Scotland. Um, I went a few times 
to the restaurant and of course I was still vegan of course I am all the times never going back um, but I was having a lot of um, juices as well just to keep me going throughout the day and fruits as well but I could see that you know differences yeah my skin was still okay was really good actually because I think it's because I was really 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 happy because I've been um, or we've been trying to organize this holiday together for a long time so for me it was a spike in like happiness in my mood being with my best friends uh, which I don't see really often because they're in Italy um, so overall I could see that you know my skin was was amazing because I was really happy like you know the food I was eating was good anyway um, and also because I was I was still all I was still on you know eating a lot of food and veggies anyway and uh, I could see that while I was traveling traveling uh, juices helped a lot in terms of also the energy because you know we were like walking a lot and visiting a lot of places and you know I felt really light you know you know I didn't feel like oh my god you know I just need to sleep after eating so it was good for me in terms of the energies um, that I had uh, but still if I went on holiday again, I wouldn't do cooked food um, all day. Uh, I would still go on to fruit, fruit, veggies and juices just because uh, then I think it's going to be a problem for the skin. I mean, I think you, I would start to see something coming up. Um, but anyway, and then I came back to Brighton. And since I came back in the same place, house, same routine, my mood went like a bit down just because it was such a high period and then I went here, I, went, I came back here and um, I noticed that actually my skin was like, I started to become a bit red in my face, a bit rushed, especially here uh, and I think it's because of the change in mood, my my own mood as well uh, which I said in, a pre in previous videos that you know that your emotions can have uh, an effect on your skin as well so you know just to <laughs> get the point out of this video I think it's good to f uh, for you to find a balance uh, because you know changes in uh, I don't know whatever it is routine what you eat you know your mood uh, can have an effect on, on on your skin so it's really important that you understand what works for you uh, and for your skin as I said for me you know traveling changing a lot of things in just a short period of time um, I could see some changes in my skin but overall it was okay just because I was still eating the right foods uh, so yes guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave me some comments uh, you know if you have any experience about this what you think do you agree do you not agree and I will see you really soon in the next video ciao ciao